Yesterday was Sunday, and my family had a wonderful time in church. It was a great time to be refreshed in the presence of God in worship. And so, as we start this new week, I'm ready and raring to go back to a full week of work. Just like you, I had a full schedule the week before. I had meetings to attend, customers to serve, deadlines to meet. It can be hectic at times. By the end of the week, I was just exhausted, and not just physically and mentally. Often, I get exhausted spiritually as well. Don't you notice how easy it is sometimes to forget God while you're deep in work? When I'm deeply involved in some tasks, especially mental tasks, it is so easy to get lost in the work. And by the end of the week, I'd be so tired, I hardly think about God. I'm just so eager to get home and have dinner and go to bed. And the same thing happens again the next day, all throughout the week. Until Sunday, of course, when the main thing of the day is to go to church to worship. You know, during the time of Moses, when God rescued the people of Israel from the kingdom of Egypt, he gave his people some basic rules, which we now know to be the Ten Commandments. One of them is all about keeping one day of the week different from the rest. This is what he said. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant, or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. You know, God said that after six days of work, his people were to cease all kinds of work on the seventh day. It was to be holy or set apart for God. God gave a reason for this command. This is what he said. For in six days, the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. As people created in the image of God, and most especially for those who worship the living God and follow Jesus, Resting from work one day in a week is one of the many ways we worship God. As we rest from our labor, we give honor to the God who valued rest. So, make sure that you take time this week to rest from your work and go to your place of worship. Don't think about your projects and deadlines or your long list of things to do. On that day, just focus on God, will you? Because in our work and also in our rest, Faith matters too.